Try your hand at this 700 level problem solving question from the official guide advance book. Pause the video while you're solving. Resume when you're done. Let's, let's read this question. 5 integers between 10 and 99 inclusive, so both these numbers are included, are to be formed by using each of the 10 digits exactly once. So each of the 10 digits can be, can be used exactly once. Um, now, what are all our digits? 0 all the way to 9. Okay, In such a way that the sum of the 5 integers is as small as possible. Now, if the sum is as small as possible, this implies what? Um, okay, so, so we'll hold off on that. Let's just read what the question is asking. What is the greatest possible integer? What is the greatest possible integer that could be among these five numbers? Okay, now if let's say there were no constraints and the greatest possible integer would have been 99, but there is, um, again, there are, there are two constraints over here. One is that each of the 10 digits can be used exactly once and the other, so this is constraint number one and the constraint number two is that the sum of five integers needs to be as small as possible. Now, what can you infer from this? Okay, what you can infer from this is that your numbers should be as small as possible. If the sum as to his, is to be as small as possible, then the numbers need to be as small as possible. Now, you can use each of the digits now okay so let's let's come back to to our digits part over here okay this part over here okay now you can use each of the digits only once which means that the tens digit can can be made from from five digits here and the ones digit the digits at the one place will be made by the remaining five digits okay remaining five digits okay now now let's bring this over here. If your numbers have to be as small as possible, then your tens digits, okay, let's, we'll, we'll, we'll draw this inference from both of these. Then your tens digits should be composed of smaller digits, should be composed of smaller digits, okay? Okay. Which means now out of zero to nine, what are all, what are the smallest digits? Zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. So these, these digits should be our, our tens digit. But remember, we have five integers that are between 10 and 99. So this is, this information also imposes a constraint your tens digit cannot be zero because if your tens digit is zero then this is not a 10 uh, is a, then there's nothing on in the tens place right so with that information what do we have our tens places our, our tens place can have one two three four or five which means our ones place or our units place will have six seven eight nine or zero Okay, so this is what we have inferred, which means that the greatest number possible is what? Is you take up five from here and nine from here. This is the greatest number possible. Which means that the correct answer here is choice C, 59. Okay, so what I want you to now focus on is where all the constraints were. Now, in this question, you had several conditions or constraints and you drew inference appropriately from those. Look at this part over here. These num these digits can be used exactly once. So that's a constraint over there, right? Um, then you have this, uh, let's look at this part. Um, the constraint that it has to be a number that has a tens digit. The five integers are between 10 and 99. So you need to have a tens digit, which means that you cannot have zero in the tens place. Okay. And then the, the sum of five integers need to be as small as possible. We utilize that information and we drew the inference that um, the numbers need to be as small as possible. So again, a lot of inferences that we drew. Um, here's the inference that we drew. Uh, we considered the constraints and definitely it's, it's a word problem. So translation is the key here. You have to take the English language in 
be presented to you in the question statement and convert that into mathematical terms. But the key thing over here is that here as well, we had to infer the constraint that was given to us in the question statement and utilizing that, that inference, we were able to come up with the correct answer. Okay. So start applying the process skill of apply constraints from this point onwards. Hit that bell icon to get notified as soon as we post content here. Happy learning.